So, I love The Last of Us, but the problem is that they don't make enough of them. <laughs> so here is a, a lengthy level that I have created recently. It starts out with a cutscene with me being the player searching through drawers looking for a weapon. Then it comes up on some infected. Uh, it introduces the nail bomb and it tells you how to listen for enemies. And you can use the bomb. Then comes a lengthy vehicle section where you find a car and get into it and you just start driving and you knock down this fence. You come across a gap and you pick up this plank of wood and then you place it across the gap and then you find another plank. You place it down and then your car is able to drive across the gap and then you drive across the gap. You continue driving the car and you reach this road here where there's a little moment with some music that plays. The car slows down, it's like atmospheric, it's like yes you're in a destroyed area and it's just a little, a little touch. You climb up on top of this bus and then it plays a little cutscene where you uh, scope out the area, find a rifle and you just have a look around and the the ambient music just adds a little bit of spice. You enter a building and some infected will show up and this guy is going to s slowly walk, walk past us. You can't see the flashlight just like actual The Last of Us there. Once you've killed the infected, you come across a workbench where you can upgrade your weapons. So I'm going to add a scope right now. There's a short cutscene where you go through a garage door and you notice that there are hunters inside the building. You fight the hunters and then you figure out a way to get out of the building. You make your way out of the building and you move down this road here where you'll climb up to this area here. You grab a plank and you place it over this gap to get into the building. And then there's an infected fight. When you pass the infected you climb up the ladder and you make it through this vent here. The vent suddenly buckles, and then you're on a one-on-one -on -one fight with some infected. You come across this door here that you have to tap the triangle button on, and it turns out there's a hole in the floor, and you just completely destroyed your legs. And then you see a little shed outside, and it's another uh, upgrade bench. So if you have enough scrap, you can upgrade one of your weapons. We make our way through a forest area, and if you want, you can swap your semi-auto rifle for a hunting rifle, which is more powerful, but fire slower. As we're traveling through the abandoned plaza, we find a dumpster. So you press triangle on the dumpster, and there's a little cutscene that plays where you find a shotgun in a dumpster, which is silly, but whatever. So it gives you a new weapon that you can use. We enter this fight. We move the dumpster to this yellow ledge here, which we climb up to the final segment of this chapter. We sidle our way through this small gap here. As we reach this area in the building, a car will come crashing through the building, and these two guys will come out looking for you, so you've got to kill them before they kill you. We enter the car, and then my friend, who's in the cutscenes but not in the rest of it, appears. And we have this long driving segment where we have to press buttons when it tells us to, and we can also shoot from the vehicle while driving. A really long time to program and animate, but it's uh, it's it's kind of reminiscent of that scene in The Last of Us Part 2 where Ellie and Jesse are trying to escape in a car but you have to keep shooting and stuff. There's this whole segment where this guy jumps onto your car and you shoot him off. This, oh, this took forever. But as you go through 
the, the forest, you kill more guys, and this guy comes in from here and he jumps on your hood, you shoot the hell out of him, and then you crash into the wall. So you end up crashing into a mall, so me and my friend get out of the car, uh, shown as Joel and Ellie for now, but it's reminiscent of the fight where you crash the truck in, the, um, in Pittsburgh. But yeah, you've got this whole fight here in like a mall department store of some kind. After the fight is done, you go and lift up these store gates here. You slowly make your way through this uh, plaza for the mall. And these guys, you can engage combat with them, but otherwise if you don't, they'll just walk all the way down to where you just killed all the other guys. There'll be some dialogue, etc. saying like, oh, I heard some gunshots and shit like that here, so yeah. A puzzle area. So it's like a top plaza in a mall, and you can see a, uh, a generator up there. There's yellow. You know what yellow means, don't you? Yeah. You pick up the ladder. You bring the ladder over to the yellow platform. Why there's a generator up there, I'll never know, but it's just silly game logic. So, you start the generator, and then the gate opens. Once you're in the store you opened, you have another chance to upgrade your weapons. So let me just get a upgraded shotgun, there we go. And then once you walk through a door, there's another combat encounter with some enemies. So let's just upgrade melee this guy, shoot his helmet off, give him a bit of a melee. Can press this button and the door will start to raise because you turned on the generator. You exit the store and it gives you a bunch of weapon supplies and it also gives you a assault rifle which will come in handy later. And then when we get into the parking lot we encounter a fight with a bloater with the assault rifle. And he is ruthless. He's, he's gonna come after you like hell. Once you defeat the bloater, it turns into a boss fight against a sniper that's standing on the back of a truck. Uh, you use your weapons that you have to take the truck down. So you just keep shooting it until this happens. He crashes into a red uh, SUV and now it transfers into another cutscene where you have to kill this guy before he shoots grenade uh, launcher ammo at you. You just gotta get this guy as quick as you can. And then he shoots another grenade up in the air, kills himself, and that is the entire game. A lot of narrative missing, but that's how it is right now. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to play this, you can search for The Rest of Us our third last day beta and then you can play it so yeah um the last of us only comes along less than a blue moon and the very fact that i get to make my own the last of us because i'm sick of waiting for them to make their own games uh yeah that's i've had a lot of fun just making these levels and there'll be more to come and hopefully you enjoyed this little playthrough of uh of my original The Last of Us level. So thank you and uh, bye. Comes back from that.